Championship of the World. His first appearance in America, weighing in, Tomas Adamak. Making his second appearance in the United States, Hurricane Briggs. 20 knockouts and 28 wins, so Briggs will have to be cautious early. Briggs is very strong with both the hook and the right hand. In the WBC Interim Heavyweight Championship, save the... Finland, Spain, and Germany. Two, Paul's only 5'11". It's a big man. Paul's from the Gold Coast in Australia. He throws Ruiz. He get knocked down in the second round, but he came back in the WBC. Briggs is the first round. Briggs not doing much. Harry nails him with the right hand. And, and it's going to be tough to enter without throwing because of the extraordinary by blood. By birth. That one block, nice stiff. And in the ring, by the way, is Tim Adams. This ball with a nice stiff right. jab. Let him go. Let him All right, go. the villain. He's Adam with a stiff jab that he catches with a light right hand. Ball very quick. Jack Mosley. To get it right there. I mean, Paul's the one that came forward. Time is back in, so that cut is serious. A little bit short, and Briggs is really fired up. Adamak tries to put this back to you in red. Tomas Adamak from Poland. And that part is good, but it's a bad cut. It's deep. This is Monty Two Gun Spirit in the WBC Interim Heavyweight Championship. His son's name is Isaiah. There remains space, too. There's the left hook as he lunges at him. Contest. Paul Briggs is very swollen underneath that left eye. Jabbing, jabbing, jabbing. I'd be circling to my left. And Max Garcia. Adamak just looks huge in this. It's a stiff jab. That's the first real pressure he's put on him. His break. Paul is all over him. He's just sense of urgency. Fighting boxing action. Global glory. Battle for pride. And Good upper body movement, even though Adamak is very strong. Those punches to stream down the left side of the face. With the scorecard, and Briggs could win the fight, but he's got to win this round, and then he's trying to invite him in and counter punch him. And now right back comes Briggs. Briggs without throwing. That's a good jab by Briggs. Nice stiff jab by Briggs. Drives off the back foot, textbook stop, and then bang! In boxing action, global glory. Battle for pride and country featuring... Stagger him in the third. Adamak not looking as nobody's landed anything in the first few seconds here of this round. Mosley teaching him to faint. He covers him something into a better round this time, but Adamak, if Briggs can't let him have this round of Adamak. Adamak chops him with the right hand. This is a tough round of hole for Paul. Adamak making it tough for him. Trouble planning his jab. So he's got to throw more right hands. He's, now, he's never faced anybody like Briggs. A little frustrated right now as he goes with his right hand lead. Adamak bends forward in the round, and Adamak has actually outboxed Paul Briggs. The thing is, is that Adamak has outboxed Time. Briggs in the fourth round and leads it three. Across the zoo. Look at this. This is a pretty good middle of the round for Adamak. Tony Caradona in the crowd at Penrith. Paul is so proud to be fighting for the world title. Bob Sheridan here in Chicago. This is the WBC light on the eyes of Adamak in the red. Briggs from Australia. Oh. Boxing action. Global glory. Battle for pride and country. I'd like to see him come with the right hand uppercut. Is the stiff jab. He won his last fight over Ismail Abdul and Warsaw Bowling. Movement getting the angles. Now blood is trickling from the ball. Just gonna clip with a good right hand and another good right hand. Put a right hand right on top of that cut. And that cut is a series that's on his face right now. As the blood trickles from his nose, then he spins. He's got a big heart. The and the bell ends, but I'm afraid that's Adam X round. Exciting boxing action. Global glory. Battle for pride. And Paul just not showing the sense of urgency so far. So far, it's just the size difference from what I bring strange territory. Paul, on the other hand, in his last two, Paul has got to land more right hands. He's got to come with uppercut. Get outside of his jab by getting off his left shoulder. Fight right here, I got to say. As Paul with his jab. So Briggs must get his angles. As the right hand again. Didn't quite catch him right. It's tough for Paul when he comes in, scratches to the left side of the cheek. Of Adamak. Adamak knows the of Adamak. Briggs needs to land one more if he can. There's the bell to end it. That's to get so for the boxes over there that are great, pretty good sixth round. Coming up on August 13th, more exciting. Similar to that night that David Poole was having. Because David just any body work to this guy, and the reason is he can't get to it. Just a nice job by his corner. But Adamak 
Not only is he not as hittable, but he lands better shots of his own. Up in Homebush in uh, Homebush Bay there in Australia is right for both men. By far, Adamak's best of right now in this particular round. Paul needs to put some rounds. Both of these guys wanted bad, both of the right hand by Briggs. Got him pretty good. That was good at the in Melbourne, so we've got to work all that out for you. Here we go, round number eight. Remember, Adamak has only been in the eighth minute for Adamak, never 12. Coming up on August 13th, more exciting boxing action. Global. He seems to have his legs back, but he's staggering with a good right hand. Dan, backing off now is Adamak. He doesn't have the power on that jab. Ropes is a bad idea. Good stiff jab by Frank. Minute 15 seconds to go in the eighth round. Frank sure he wins this round. Right back to Paul, and he's ready to drop the elbow, and he is thrilled. Paul is waiting. He's patient. He Paul is superbly confident, but he's behind in the fight. The war! It's a war that comes in the eighth round. Great stick. It's a counter right hand shot. Now look at this. Watch the legs of Adam Powers. And at the end of the round, he's coming on to Briggs nail him at the tonight. Adam Mack was cut back in the second round, and his corner's done to go. His eyes are closing up. You may have hate yourself the boxing. Briggs is a greatly improved fighter. It's 13. For tickets, call 312-559-1212. <laughs> The Polish kid here in a very predominant lead. He bounces back and lands shots on Briggs as well. Briggs must win the even round. Neither guy has won the round yet. How do I catch him? Briggs counters him. It's the count he camps out in front of him. He's got to get his angle. Where's that been all night? And now he pushes Briggs to score, guys. Not a lot between them as the bell ends the ninth round. Trains on beat power, a natural way to train with honey. Christy Martin. All right, here we go, round 10. I want to say hello to the people watching it in English because it's for Australia. This is the main event. Adamac back to get back in and he needs to knock Adamac down. Sitting each has been the difference, in my opinion, in the fight. Both guys are tough stuff. Both of them in great shape. Save the date, August 13th. For tickets, call. It's tough to fight. That's the right hand that gets through, but it doesn't play the judges here. The judge is Johnny oh, Key from the U.S. People watching in Poland, I have no fear that you're happy. He has. I'm afraid for Briggs fans that that's enough. It's not easy to go to Germany, and it's not easy for Paul Briggs. The battle for Pride and Country featuring Hassim the Rock, Rockman. The accidental headbutt came way back in the second round. That's a good idea. Plant that jab in the face of Briggs. That punches at this late portion of the fight. He can go 12. He's talking to this guy. Any talking he needs to do with his fist. The left hand down of Adamak. Adamak is ready. He's doing a nice job with his reach of outboxing ball. A magnificent shape. Has a big right hand again. He doesn't see the see the sense of urgency that I see. To win this fight, he better knock him out. Here we go. It's up throughout the course of the fight. Of stealing and winning rounds for this. Battle for Pride and Country featuring Ricardo El Matador Mayorga. Rick is waiting too much. He's going to be paid. On the ringside here. The has been keeping him in here, clean up my swag. He wants the counter and coming in, but he can't time it. The blood continues to come down. Plus, there's a tremendous fatigue. He's out boxing Briggs. Briggs tries to counter him, nails him with the right. Briggs has landed the power shot. Really berserk here. At the end of the fight, they exchange at the bell, but it's 14, 114, a draw. Well, ladies and gentlemen. Janet scored 114-114, John McCarthy weight champion of the world.